Coffee service. Jeff and Jeremy. It's like a radio gasm. I said, hey, babe, check it out on the podcast. Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and Spotify. All this is going viral. So, have you seen the the promos for this movie Stillwater with the, um, Matt Damon? I don't think I have. No. It's supposed to be a fictional story in which um, a uh, a dad goes to another country and tries to free uh, his daughter who has been wrongfully imprisoned. Amanda Knox is um, saying, "Hey, that story sounds very familiar." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so if, let's let's go back and relive that story. I know that she went to the University of Washington. She was a college age student. She studied abroad, and then uh, I know that somebody died. And she was maybe involved in it. That's yeah, what they accused was, her of. She was there, so they, they uh, convicted her of murder. And in this movie, Stillwater, Matt Damon is a it's a it's a fictional crime drama. And um, he goes and he um, tries to spring his his daughter out of jail in, in another country. I don't know much about it. I've seen it a couple times. Um, he plays. Bill, a father who travels from Oklahoma, it's called Stillwater, so I'm guessing that's why it's the Oklahoma thing, um, to France to help his daughter Allison get out of a murder charge that she said she's innocent of. And Amanda Knox is like, this is my story. This is not, this is not a fictional story. I want, you know, something from this. You guys, uh, a movie She wants studio. repercussions. She wants, uh, what do they call that? But I know what you mean. She would like to get some payment out of it. Right, probably rightfully so. But I mean, come on, is she the only one that has ever traveled to a country and been charged of a crime and then later to be found not guilty of it? I doubt that. Now, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I haven't seen the trailer. I haven't seen the movie and I'm sure it is similar. But just because it's similar, does that mean it's like, remember law and order, especially a special victims unit? They would use to, They would talk about they would take stories from the headlines uh, but then they always have to run a disclaimer now because people were suing them saying, hey, that's my story. And so now they say, you know, this is this is a, you know, a fictional story. This is not uh, this is not a legitimate story. So, um, yes. And Mike, thanks for writing in. Liam Neeson already did this movie. And um, what? Taken? The Taken? Movies? Yeah, Taken. Yeah, but that, that was a little bit different. That was the daughter was kidnapped, not uh, in, imprisoned. In another country, but I'm sure somebody's daughter's been kidnapped before. But maybe their story wasn't in the news. This is what the this is what the director of the film says. Okay, he told Vanity Fair his goal with Stillwater was to take this piece of the story, an American woman studying abroad, involved in some kind of sensational crime, and she ends up in jail <laughs> and fictionalize everything around it. Yes, that is the Amanda All Knox story. All I wanted was that bit of the story: American woman, student, even in jail. For a crime she may or may have not committed. Beyond that, there's not really much comparison that I know of to the Amanda Knox story. So what, if you just plead ignorance to the Amanda Knox story, you can rip off the Amanda Knox story? Now, there's been other documentaries, and I even think there's been books done, and I think she's she's gotten something out of this besides you know her freedom that since she's been released. And she was released, what, over a decade ago? Uh, somewhere maybe within less that time than, frame maybe less than that but uh yeah i don't know I, what does that mean we can never do we can never write a story we can do can we not write a song no you can, can not, you can just the people that you're ripping off of give them something for it you think she deserves approval you think she, she deserves something her, she didn't ever never gave her because approval somebody for it. decided to do a movie about a stu- female student studying abroad arrested for a murder and uh what because they did good. it in france and not italy they, they, i mean this is the old vanilla ice argument isn't it <laughs> well he won did dun 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 my, so my my song doesn't go na 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 mine just goes na 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 only offers may vary online Straddling the fine line between career and mental illness. Jeffrey Jeremy in the morning.